those structures actually do become living because vegetation is a key part of what we do. And uh, in many cases, over a time, you don't even see the structure. Uh, some of them are under the water, but they're still doing their job. They're still acting as a barrier to slow that water flow up. Some of them you don't see because they get so covered in vegetation, they just look natural. And that's what exactly will happen uh, in, in the longer term. So it also deals with those issues around erosion and creating terrific biodiversity along the way. One of the additional benefits that have come out of it uh, is the habitat that's been created and the habitat we created was so good that last year we've had the reintroduction of a, a frog species that uh, has only ever been able to survive uh, through captive breeding. But Taronga Park Zoo deemed our, the habitat we created was so good that it was worth um, releasing this frog uh, back into the wild. Before these works were done, this whole creek system was dominated by an invasive um, mosquito fish called uh, Gam uh, Gambesia. And after we'd done the three kilometre pilot project and it had been rehabilitated and rehydrated, uh, we were doing some, some additional fish surveys as part of the larger whole catchment project and what we discovered was that in the section of creek that had been repaired and rehydrated there were no invasive fish uh, at all and the native version of that fish, the Galaxus um, mosquito fish, had come back uh, and it was, um, it was thriving in that repaired section but still the rest of it was still dominated by the invasive fish. So, you know, it, it sort of told you, well, the, the native fish obviously knew how to deal with a, with a landscape which was much more close to what it used to be uh, once upon a time, whereas the invasive fish uh, had been used to effectively a stormwater channel, and once you put barriers in its way, uh, it, uh, it moved on. It's not, not only the creek, you've got to get back up the slope and in other parts of the country, and that's where we, we do uh, contours higher up the slopes with mulch and vegetation so that you're also slowing the water down across, uh, across the paddocks as well as in the creek and holding that water so it can do good. Mulching or planting vegetation around those uh, contours helps then with fertility because you get litter drop, uh, the water slows up and it hits the contour, it seeps its way through and that very, very expensive um, energy called gravity, uh, which costs us nothing, uh, then pushes the fertility uh, down the slope. Thank mm -hmm. you.